Hello, hello my darlings and welcome back to my channel and to another video. So today we are gonna do a big, big haul of perfumes. I have bought quite a bit. I have also received some in the mail. So <sighs> it's gonna be a longer one, I think. So let's go ahead and jump right in. But before we do that, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and do not forget to sign up to Navitus Parfum newsletter. This way you will know all about my fragrance launch, yay! Uh, which is coming up very, very, very soon, guys. Um, this is literally weeks, weeks until we get to get our hands on my baby my own baby. I will tell you a little bit more in the next video dedicated to it, but please do not forget to sign up to the newsletter uh, if you want to enter the giveaway and also uh, even win my fragrance. So yes, guys, with that out of the way, let's begin. So I got a very nice package from Orientica Parfum. And if you don't know Orientica, they are I think it's a baby brand or at least they are under the same umbrella as Al Harmain. And I must say Orientica has very luxurious fragrances. So I got this big, big package and I was really excited for these two launches because these are brand new fragrances that they have released and they are just beautiful. So the first one is Romantique and the second one is Exotique from Arte Bellissimo collection. And as you can see guys, the packaging speaks for itself. It's absolutely beautiful. So one of them comes in white uh, bottom, so to speak, and the other one comes in pink. So yeah, let me just open them. They are so gorgeous. So this one is the Romantique, the one that comes in the pink packaging. And it of course also has the pink bottle as well. And if you guys can see, I hope you can, the coffin is velvet inside, which is so luxurious looking. And I really love the presentation. And the bottle looks like this. So you have this beautiful pink bottle with a very massive, heavy cap. Of course, it's metal. You know, Orientica always does beautiful presentations and they are very like heavy, sturdy and high quality. So with Romantique, guys, I sprayed it once already because I couldn't wait. But if you love the Lina Exclusive, this is your baby. All right, <laughs> that's all I can say. Um, if you love the Lina exclusive version, this is maybe even better. I don't know, but you have to see for yourself. But for me, this one is just so beautiful. So, so beautiful. And yeah, it's so sweet. It's slightly powdery. It's fruity. It is rosy. It is a little bit smoky. It has just everything that I love in a feminine fragrance. The longevity of it is outstanding. You get 10 hours plus on your skin. I sprayed it early morning when I received it and I went about my day and I showered in the evening and I could still smell it right before I showered. So very, very good lasting power with very decent projection. So these fragrances, this Arte Bellissimo collection, it is so new that it's not on Fragrantica yet as far as I know. Uh, but this is 75 milliliter and it is 80 pounds uh, on their website, on Orientica website. And you can order them at Notino. I also saw them at Notino and of course the official Orientica website. So uh, this one has bergamot, peach tree blossom, nutmeg and grapefruit. In the middle we have rose, pink peony and violet blossom. And in the base we've got musk, benzoin, vetiver and amber. Absolutely gorgeous guys, absolutely gorgeous. Very, very similar vibe to the Lina Exclusive. So if you love 
that kind of fragrance, you're gonna die. To me, this one is beautiful because it opens up quite fresh. Um, it is a little bit more bubbly and sparkling and not as powdery as the Lina Exclusive. So I think this is gonna be a gorgeous option for spring and summer. So beautiful, guys. So, so beautiful. I highly, highly recommend checking them out because, you know, the price is amazing. Let's be honest. For everything that you get, the packaging, um, the box, the whole entourage of it, the longevity, it is just amazing. I am definitely gonna use it. Definitely. Um, I am also soon going to South Africa for the whole month um, because we are probably moving back there, by the way. But that's another subject. Um, so I will most probably take this with me. Um, definitely, instead of all the Delinas, uh, I will surely take this one because to me, this is the best of both worlds because you know you get some freshness but also that beautiful depth that the Lina exclusive also has to me this one is perfect i think out of them three i actually at the moment love this one the most so yes this is romantique from arte bellissimo so yes this is romantique from arte bellissimo and the uh, other one is called exotique and this one comes in the white packaging and it has red velvet coffin and the bottle is white and gold and a little bit of red as well so as you can see it is also just as gorgeous but it has some red to it the cap is decorated with a ruby so very very cool and again not visible on Fragrantica yet. So with the notes we've got bergamot, aromatic notes, coconut and vanilla. And we also have another punch of vanilla in the base. We've got also sandalwood, musk and amber there. And again, same thing, 75 mil, 80 pounds. <sighs> this one is so interesting. To be honest, I cannot compare it to anything as much as Romantic really reminds me of the the Linas, you know that that whole shebang. This one is super unique. To me, it's beautiful. It's a little bit peachy, coconutty. You definitely get that amber and a lot of vanilla in here. This to me is way more powdery than the romantic one. This one is also more mature slightly even it is considered exotic to me it's quite mature and quite powdery as i said um very very interesting fragrance um slightly leaning gourmand i really love the coconut touch in here it is that beautiful very creamy coconut in general that fragrance is super creamy super super creamy uh, very feminine again uh, i really don't think um, they are that suitable for men unless you really like girly and sweet otherwise i don't think you're gonna love them if you're the guy um, but for very feminine females out there this is gonna be perfect both of them and um, this one is a little bit fresher and this one is way more creamy dense and slightly more mature and definitely more powdery i really love this one as well it is so interesting um i really again cannot compare it to anything but quality wise and tropical vibe wise i think if you love fragrance du bois ou jaune intense i think that types of fragrances that are very dense and creamy and powdery you're gonna love this and you know you get such an amazing quality for a fraction of the price comparing to all those super bougie expensive brands and even the packaging is so delicious so i highly highly recommend them both this one again very good longevity um, to me i kind of feel like the romantique projects more than the exotique exotique is very dense and sits a little bit closer to the skin but the longevity is still exquisite 
By the way, I was wearing Exotic yesterday and I went uh, out for the walk, uh, our daily walk with my boyfriend and it was such a bad idea because it was like a very moist evening right before the thunderstorm. Um, so basically all the bags were out and you know guys, I, I we live in the countryside, like there is cornfields everywhere, right? So like a straight up countryside. And I was wearing this and all the bags from the neighborhood were after us because I was smelling so sweet. Um, they probably thought I'm um, a very exquisite exotic flower. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I do not recommend wearing it in the countryside for evening walks in the high heat of summer. That I do not recommend. But other than that, you'll be perfect and good to go. Um, this even though it's called exotique and definitely it does have exotic touches, I think it's going to be perfect for very formal occasions as well, uh, especially those ones in the summer. Uh, if you are a bride or a wedding guest, you should definitely look into these two because they're perfect, they're very classy and very feminine. So yeah, as much as this one is quite leaning into the Lina exclusive vibe. This one is super duper unique. So yeah, I haven't smelled anything like it before. So check them out. They're so inexpensive and you can get them in so many places, especially the Orientica website. Very, very good quality fragrances, I must say. So that is that. Uh, the next fragrance, um, I'm just going to talk about it super quick because I intend to do a separate quick video about it to review it. And uh, I literally just got it. It is Alien Goddess Intense. And I must say, guys, I, of course, do have the original goddess still. Mm. I will do a separate video on this. However, I must say... It is interesting, okay? And it really doesn't sit close to the original. So you have to watch my video that I'm gonna make about this because I, I have my opinions, all right? I have things to say about that. So yeah, look out for the video. Uh, I don't wanna get into it at the moment, but you just be aware that I have it and I'm gonna prepare a review of it. All right, what do we have next? Next we have Commodity. I totally fell in love with Commodity fragrances and I got two of them for now. Uh, so I went ahead and got the bold versions of both of them. So I got Book Plus, which is the highest concentration and the boldest version of Book fragrance. And I also got Milk Plus, which again is the boldest of all milks. To be completely honest, I absolutely adore the original, the normal version, regular. Uh, but I was so tempted to get this one because it is so flipping interesting. Uh, I really, really want to get my hands on the original as well uh, because I am in love with the whole milk range. But... I started with this one and I'm gonna spray my hair. This is something else, guys. This is something else. This is milk marshmallow vanillic fragrance with a smoky wood to it. They actually called that note burning wood. So this is a powerhouse, loves. This is a powerhouse and I also think this is going to be fantastic to mix with fragrances like Princess from Killian because uh, you're going to get that super intense smoky marshmallow base and then you top it with the original milk or the fragrance like Princess from Killian and stuff like that, um, Pour Farm from Dolce Gabbana. You're going to just just try it, okay? And I am pretty sure that not only bugs will follow you when you wear that type of combination or this one alone. Uh, all men are gonna be like puppies, <laughs> okay? Just saying. This is delicious. Delicious, but not too sweet. 
and not too crazy girly absolutely not even though there is marshmallow there is a sweetness definitely the smokiness and the woods in here really cut that down super interesting fragrance i really love it it's enveloping but at the same time it is quite um standoffish and just you know that type of vibe i hope you get what i'm saying and showing milk plus fantastic and the next one we have book plus and with this one I know it's not for everybody however I think it is even more likable than milk plus because my mother sniffed both of them as well and she was way more into book plus even though she likes sweet at the moment as well so go figure but book plus is this gorgeous sandalwoody fragrance if you love Gris Charnel from BDK, this is basically a gorgeous alternative to it. Uh, however, in my opinion, this one lasts and projects longer than Gris Charnel. I love Gris Charnel, however, Book Plus is just so much more mm, in your face. And it still has that beautiful freshness and some airiness. However, it is strong and potent at the same time. Absolutely gorgeous milky sandalwoody incredible incredible so yes book plus and milk plus from commodity are my current babies that i am so in love with and i must say even though milk is my jam i've been using book plus all the time so yeah lovely fragrances lovely lovely fragrances and even though they are a little bit more expensive um i think it is definitely okay considering their projection and longevity you know what i mean like you definitely get what you're paying for the quality is impeccable so these are the scents from commodity okay my loves now i have five new fragrances and they are all from perfume all expressions i talked about this brand a couple of times already on my channel and i just got uh, my next delivery and i am in love with these all right not only they are very inexpensive for the ingredients they use and the milliliters that you get considering it is the perfume oil they are so long lasting i cannot believe it every time i wear these fragrances and i do wear them a lot um because i actually received my very first package of them when i was still fighting terrible eczema so these saved my life and everyone around me because I wasn't stinky because I could not wear anything with alcohol and of course these don't have alcohol so I every time I wore a fragrance from them I couldn't believe how long it lasted and throughout the day I could sniff myself all the time I, I would get whiffs of the fragrance even though let's say I had the fragrance on my arm by the way look how oily is Arte Bellissimo so beautiful this is the exotic one um, even though I would have the fragrance on my hand let's say and I would have my hand down when the wind blew outside I could still smell it oh my god they're so long lasting just get them okay so I got F narcotic flower which is an inspiration from Fleur Narcotique from Ex Nihilo and this is incredible I love this one oh my gosh oh my gosh and okay as much as I would love to have the original in my stash just because I'm so vain I kind of don't need it because this one it's such a good version of it guys incredible so if you really want Fleur Narcotique, but you don't have budget for it, you don't want to spend so much, or you just don't want to get it, you want an alternative, this is the best one. The best one that I have encountered. So gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. I think this one is my current favorite. Next one I have is Dusk. 
and this was actually a an additional gift from the owner from the brand so thank you so so much um dusk is a inspiration from Chanel Chans au Tendre and I really really like it I must say I don't feel like getting the original Chanel Chans au Tendre just because it doesn't really last that well uh, Eau de Parfum is better than EDT of course but um, still I just don't feel the need to have it but this perfume oil is so beautiful, so, so, so beautiful. And I also think it's going to be a gorgeous scent to mix with other scents. So yeah, lovely, uplifting, sweet floral scent that is just perfect for every day, for work, for anything really. So yeah, really, really love it. This is Dusk. Again, longevity. Oh, I just cannot. Uh, next one we have Brilliance and this is um, inspiration from Baccarat Rouge Extrait if I'm not mistaken I think it's the Extrait uh, and this one guys this one is insane insane it smells just like the original and since it is a perfume oil concentration if you already own Baccarat I think this would be the best combo ever because you're gonna have first this one apply it all over and you will be able to smell yourself and then top it off with the Baccarat spray and then you'll be smelled from kilometers away the best combo ever but if you do not have the original I think you are more than fine with just this so this is brilliance and it's gorgeous it's amazing pretty much exactly like the original version so massive thumbs up i have two more and i think you're gonna love it because the first one is velvet santal and this is a dupe so-called of um santal blush blush from tom ford and it is beautiful <sighs> To me it's even better than the original to be completely honest with you again uh, same thing as with rolling in love i much prefer perfume oil expression version 100 percent this is the same thing here i much prefer this one over the original it is just incredible just incredible so sexy so smooth woody a little bit spicy oh i just can't it's so smooth it smells like velvet it really does it really does as the name suggests it smells like velvet if velvet has a smell that would be it okay it would be velvet santal so i love it incredible one and this is very unisex by the way so i will surely share it with my man he really likes it as well and last but definitely not least, I have something for all my Zerge of lovers and I found the perfect dupe for Zerge of Lira. And this is called Dulcet. And guys, this is like, I have no words. I have no words. I don't think any other fragrance apart from the original Lira captured this zesty lemon mixed with vanillic um, gourmand note this is just incredibly well done incredibly well done and again if you already have lira you can just top them off with each other and you are gonna smell like a cookie again stay away from the countryside yeah <laughs> but other than that just go ahead and shine guys go ahead and shine Dulcet is fantastic like fantastic I love them all I love them all so we have to sum up Dulcet which is uh, Lira inspiration Brilliance which is Baccarat Rouge Extra inspiration then we have Narcotique Flower which is of course inspiration from Fleur Narcotique then we have Velvet Santal, which is inspiration from Tom Ford's Santal Blush. 
and Dusk, which is Chanel Chance au Tendre. I love them all. They are all absolutely beautiful and long lasting, which I cannot stress enough because I've never believed in the lasting power of oils until they came into my life, which is crazy, crazy. So yes, guys, this is it for today's haul. There will be more coming up as per usual on my channel. You know the drill. I love shopping. I'm addicted. Um, so that is it for today. Again, subscribe to Navitus. You have 10% off your orders at the moment. And if you subscribe to the newsletter, you will know everything about my personal launch with them. And also you will be entering the giveaway. Uh, just leave me a comment below that you want to enter. And that is it for now, guys. Bye.